Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I'm showing you um, this particular box that I designed and made for my friend Angie um, from Evans Scent. She is a candle maker. She makes all sorts of beautiful candles and wax scented melts and even dipped wax teddy bears. Um, but she also makes her own tea lights and she wanted a box to hold um, sets of 12 of them when she's um, giving them as, as gift sets you know, for customers and what have you. Now her tea lights aren't a standard size, they are in diameter but they aren't in height because she puts decorative um, items on them so she had quite specific measurements of how tall she wanted her box. So this is what I came up with for her. Um, I'll see, I have tied it on, I'll see if I can take the, the ribbon off and show you how it opens. What she needed was um, 12, centimetre, 12 centimetres in this direction, 8 in this direction and 5 centimetres high. Um, and to do that from one piece of cardstock, hopefully you can see that, this is black, um, it meant that we had to have a slight lip here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just a very slight lip here, but that is absolutely fine because it's all hidden away. So I came up with a design and I um, have going to do it now in the video. Now I was working in metric for her um, for her box but I have converted it into imperial because obviously you know I know I'm often asked you know can I convert my tutorials into imperial and to metric and vice versa. Um, so I have written it down I'm not going to do it in imperial, uh, not going to score it in imperial but I will show you a finished result. So I'm this one I did in basic black, whisper white and real red cardstock which are, are Angie's colours. I did this one in an early espresso, very vanilla and the real red. And I'm going to do this one but the opposite way around so I'm going to do real red as the base and then black on the top. And it is basically the whole of a piece of UK A4 uh, paper minus two millimetres off the length. Um, there is a specific reason for that <clears throat> and it's just at the point when you're closing it up here it needs to be two millimetres shorter just so that this fits perfectly. So that leaves the cardstock then measuring uh, 21 millimetres, sorry 21 centimetres by 29 and a half centimetres that way. So let me just take off these two mil off one end and it sounds quite pedantic but honestly there is a good reason for it. So scoring it with the metric on the long side, get these out of the way, scoring it at three and a half centimetres and this this lighter um, blade here is the scoring tool. So three and a half, eleven and a half, Sixteen and a half, which actually is hidden under here. I don't know if you can see it, but the the measurements do carry all the way along. Sixteen and a half centimeters, and twenty four and a half centimeters. And those who would like inches, the cardstock measures eleven and five eighths by eight and two eighths, and scoring it at uh, one and three eighths. Four and a half, six and a half, and nine and five eighths of an inch. So there you go. Right, turning it round, we're going to uh, score it at four and a half centimeters on the uh, down the length. And I'm actually just going to turn it round and do another four and a half centimeters over here. And for those in imperial. Um, if you were lining it up on a scoreboard, it's one and six eighths of an inch and six and a half inches. So that's that. Right, up here at the, the top here where I took two millimetres off, I've now got a three and a half centimetre gap that way. Let's see if I can, there you go. Three and a half centimetres here in that section, but it's four and a half centimetres there because obviously that's the line I've just scored. So I need to take one centimetre off just down to the second score line. So the um, trimmer here has got the measurements on a few centimetres worth of measurements on that side as well as there, which is ideal for when you're um, cutting out small bits or rather narrow measurements. And also the scoring blade has got the arrow on it so I know exactly where to stop my cutting. So I only want to cut down to the second score line. So there you can see that and then I'm going to turn it over just to do the same on the opposite side.
just down to that second score line. So that's that. So I can move that out of the way. And just to prove, this is one that I did in Imperial. And you can see it exactly lines up. It is exactly the same. And actually I put the score line in so you can come along with a pair of scissors. So that's the Imperial version. That's the next trick. Anyway, coming back to this one, what I want to do is just quickly fold over the score line. So I want to, this is unusual for me. I'm folding first and scoring after. Folding, folding first and cutting after. Can't get my teeth in place today. So I'm just going to nick off these bits I've already started. We don't need those. Same on both sides. And I'm going to very quickly cut up these lines here that go up to the uh, long vertical score line. I would say be, be um, a little slower than I'm being. I'm trying to go through this quickly because I want to keep this video under three hours. <laughs> and also because it's actually quite boring watching somebody cutting. So I'm going to go as quickly as I can. So there you go. And now this section here, by the fact that it's three and a half centimetres there, we now know that that will fit over and line up perfectly. So there is a reason for taking off that extra one centimetre. So, quickly build up the box. Oh, and again, I'm just going to show you this section here. These sides on the um, the one that I showed you previously, it pops over ever so slightly. It's not a problem um, in this case because it's all going to get hidden over. And Angie has seen my original prototype; she's more than happy with it. So build the box up. Some Tombow glue. I like Tombow because it gives you room for manoeuvre. I'm sure I've said that before in a video, but it just means that there's there is a little little room for moving your cardstock around just to get it to perfectly line up and it dries very quickly and it dries clear as well if you squatch and get some in the wrong place which I am known to do fit that round this side as well and then the same over here now I want to glue this side onto there so I'm going to put the Tombow on this section see look I'm flipping it everywhere and then hold the sides up and just make sure everything's all lined up that will dry down and the same on the other side Holding that up again just to make it line up in place. Really quite a quick and simple box and as I said before you can move it around to any sort of size you want. Um, you know just alter your dimensions. There we go. So that's the box closed. Nearly. That's the box closed. Is that how it sits together? I've already prepared up some cardstock so this is Whisper White that measures 11 and a half by seven and a half and then basic black on the top which is 11 by seven. And I'm just going to oops, quickly pop it on the top with some snail. And it's just basically, it's, it's a quarter of a centimetre all the way round. And pop on some ribbon. This is, I love this ribbon. This is uh, lovely, really nice, good quality ribbon as you'd expect. Oops, fingers and thumbs today. Do you know what? I can tie a ribbon with no problem at any other time apart from when there's a camera right above my head. Right. I'm just going to snip that off for now just to pop it out of the way. And then I wanted, to, not necessarily a sentiment, but a little message on the top. So I've got my ever faithful scalloped oval. I'm just going to pop one of those out in Whisper White. I did consider doing it in the Polka Dot Parade, which I love this design series paper. It's just gorgeous. It comes in all sorts of different colours and double sided. Um, but I decided not to for this purpose. But you could do, you could put anything on here. You could put pretty pattern papers, anything you fancy. 
and then my sentiment is from teeny tiny sentiments and it's just you know I've said I've shown this so many times now it's got every possible greeting that you could think of you know get well thinking of you friend to friend and I'm using just for you I couldn't remember what I was using then what sentiment and stamp it down straight down and straight up with real red ink of course punch it out with the large oval and then I just want to sponge up the edges probably a bit much there there we go and I think I will have red on both of them you could mix and match you could have black you could have red or whatever colors that you are using for your tags don't even need to sponge the edges at all and then with some dimensionals which don't want to come off one on the back and on the top there and then I've got my handheld punch now if anybody follows my blog I've just put up the retiring list yesterday on the 31st of May and the details are all on there of everything that is retiring out of the catalogue because our new one is coming um, going live on the 2nd of July and some of the retiring um, stamps and accessories are being discounted and this is going on the retiring list I couldn't tell you actually if it's being discounted or not but I love it get it and get it quick because anything on the retiring list does not last it goes quickly so let's make that a bit, a bit sharper so I'm just going to feed this on quickly not to go through. There we go. Just tie it on with a little knot. Snip again. Honestly, there doesn't need to be lots of snipping with your ribbon. Depends on how much you've mushed it up with your fingernails, like I've just done. And then just to hold that in place and that is it so different versions of the same box or different colorways of the same box um, like I say these measurements were specific to my friend they can be easily altered for your projects let me know I'm always converting and changing dimensions for people just let me know or if you want to have a box designed for you let me know as well Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Go and check out my Facebook page. I've put the details below. I keep forgetting to do that. Also go and check out Angie's as well. All right, take care. Bye-bye.